Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Refining your skills. That's not an easy job, and not every person can have that much determination to do what we call just incredible. In today's episode, we'll show you the 10 most skilled women who will not only impress you with their mind-boggling skills, but you'll be encouraged to put efforts into completing your goals as well. So let's dig in. Number 10. Amanda Nunes Meet this lioness, not of the wild, but lioness of the ring. Amanda Nunes, the only woman in UFC history to become a two division. Involved in martial arts from a very young age of 16, UFC champion, Amanda Nunes hails from Brazil and is a master of various martial arts disciplines from boxing to BJJ to capoeira to judo. At the age of four, she was already learning karate. By the age of 16, Amanda Nunes was an avid boxer as well. This woman holds titles of UFC Women's Featherweight Champion. That's not it, she also became UFC Women's Bantamweight after she defeated Maisha Tate at UFC 200. As of 2019, Amanda Nunes' net worth is estimated to be $1 million. Being considered as one of the greatest fighters in UFC history, she has most of her earnings from MMA. Well, no one would ever want to annoy this lioness of the ring. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, Christine Bannon Rodriguez, Karate Woman. Christine is one of the superstars in the world of martial arts, but in her childhood, she was shy, quiet, and a bit of an introvert living in the Buttonwood section of Warwick. She was only 13 years old when she joined the karate school near her house. She proved her skills many times over the years. This girl was just unstoppable. She became so hooked that 40 years later, she has become a nine-time world karate champion. In the year 1991, Christine extended the martial arts world when she became a triple crown winner at the Waco World Championships in England. She has also appeared as a stunt double in movies and television shows. This isn't all, she also became a model, a cover girl on countless magazines. She has many professional endorsements and has traveled all over the world to compete and to do exhibitions, to appear in movies, to judge professional matches, and also made special appearances as a goodwill ambassador for the sport that has given her so much. Number 8. Mary Lou Henner most of us don't even remember what we ate a week before, but this woman here even remembers the slightest details from nearly every day of her life since she was a child. You must be thinking, is she superhuman or what? Mary Lou Henner, American actress, producer, radio host, podcaster, and author, well known for her role as Elaine Nardo in the classic TV sitcom Taxi, but she's also known for her special condition, hyperthymesia or highly superior autobiographical memory which is a rare condition identified in only 100 people worldwide. Due to this, she can recall every tiny detail from her life, pinpointing everything that happened decades ago. According to her, it's just like flipping through video clips in her mind. Providing with any date of the year, she can scroll through those clips for the specific video. Number 7. Lua Women of East Africa Having a sense of balance is just amazing especially when you have to carry loads. Well, we might not be able to carry greater weight, but these Lua women are incredible, as they can carry loads of up to 70% of their body weight balanced on the top of their heads. In the same way, women of other tribes also carry heavy loads, but they also use different devices. Some of these may be strapped around the head or even forehead, along with the load to secure it while it is carried by these women. One of the only downfalls that researchers have found would be an almost permanent groove on their heads from all the loads that are carried by them. But as a result of their strenuous work, there have been no other health-related issues reported. These women are super women. Number 6. Jennifer Figg, Swimming Across the Atlantic Swimming across the Atlantic Ocean, physically impossible, that's something we could just imagine, but there is a woman who has already done it. Jennifer Figg is an endurance athlete from Aspen, Colorado. She became the first woman on record to swim across the Atlantic Ocean. An American aged 56 swam the Atlantic after propelling herself across thousands of miles of the ocean while inside a 6 by 4 meter cage to protect her from sharks. That's just incredible. 
It took nearly a month to make the crossing from the Cape Verde Islands to Trinidad, propelling herself across 2,000 miles of ocean. She landed at Trinidad 1,000 miles from her planned destination, the Bahamas. It was also revealed that some days the seas were so stormy, Fig did not even get into the water. The weather was so extreme, the crew had trouble seeing her in the water. It turned into an extreme adventure swim for her. Number 5. Liv Arneson Crossing the South Pole all alone? Sounds like imagination for a woman. But this woman proved it wrong. In 1888, it was Fridge off Nansen who managed the first crossing of the Greenland ice sheet. Since then, many people have repeated this journey. Spurred on by her success in crossing Greenland Ice Cape, Liv turned her attention to the South Pole. Even the potential sponsors doubted her abilities to complete this journey while pulling her provisions by sled. Well, when people doubt you, you have to prove them wrong. And she did. She was able to get the trip organized and in 1994, she was dropped off at Hercules Inlet in Chile. With nothing but her leg muscles and a pair of skis pulling along a sled of the provisions, she set off into the desolate white interior. After a long journey of 745 miles in 50 days, she became the first woman to reach the South Pole alone and unaided. Number 4. Roberta Gibbs Who thinks women can't run in marathons? Gibbs is a three-time winner of the Boston Marathon Women's Division in the pre-sanctioned era 1966, 1967, and 1968. She was the first woman ever to run and complete the Boston Marathon in 1966, at a time when it was believed that women were not physically able to run marathon distances and were not allowed to compete in events longer than one and a half miles. While many people know her as the first woman to run the Boston Marathon, few people know her as an artist. Her zest of life showed up in many hats she wears, mother, a scientific researcher for neurodegenerative diseases, attorney, athlete, author, and speaker, to name a few. Well, her list of honors is long, and she disproved widely held beliefs about women. Number 3. Emily Harrington, Climber Let's meet the first woman who free-climbed the Golden Gate route of El Capitan. A monolith in Yosemite National Park, a massive 3,000-foot-high granite edifice named El Capitan or El Cap. This draws thousands of climbers to Yosemite each year. Climbers usually take four to six days to climb it, but Emily Harrington climbed it in 21 hours, 13 minutes, and 51 seconds. She pulled herself up by using her hands and feet and used ropes and other gear only as a safety net. Her head bloodied and bandaged and her hands covered with chalk, Emily pulled herself off the last slip of the El Capitan and into the clear still night above Yosemite National Park. In her fourth attempt, she became the fourth person and the first woman to scale the El Capitan via the Golden Gate route in under 24 hours by free climbing. Number 2. The Subscriber's Pick And now let us move into our Subscriber Pick of the Day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it on one of our videos. Our subscriber picture today shows three different people with wonderful skills. On the extreme left is the woman having multiple earthen pots on her head while holding more in her hands. This is a common practice in Indian village women for fetching more water from village water sources. The image on the extreme right is of the woman archer who shoots with her feet, named Chainara Medankulova. She is known for the historical and challenging pose of archery challenges. On September 5th, successfully repeating the trick, historians say ancient Scythian warriors used to intimidate their enemies. The central image is just the product of Photoshop skills. Number 1. Simone Biles, Gymnast Simone Biles, or fully named Simone Ariane Biles, is an American gymnast who is considered one of the sport's greatest athletes. At the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, she became the first female U.S. gymnast to win four gold medals at a single game and she was the first gymnast to win three consecutive world all-around titles from 2013 to 2015. What do you expect from a girl who became interested in gymnastics at age 6? Biles won gold in the floor exercise and a bronze in a vault at the Women's Junior Olympic National Championships in 2010 before breaking into the elite level of competition in 2011. Guess what? Her 10 World Championship gold medals were the most won by a female gymnast in the sport's history. Biles became the most decorated female gymnast in World Championships history when she won four golds, one silver, and one bronze at the 2018 Championships to bring her career total at that competition to 20 medals. Simply incredible. 
And that concludes our list of the 10 most skilled women. So are you motivated to achieve your life goals like them? Comment down below to let us know. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest videos. We'll see you next time.